Welcome to the Macat Multimedia Series, a Macat analysis of Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. What actions are needed to live well? According to Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher, happiness was something that could be worked at. He wrote Nicomachean Ethics over 2,000 years ago to explain a theory that is still being studied today. Aristotle believed the end purpose of life was to achieve happiness. He called this happiness eudaimonia and considered that living ethically was the best way to accomplish it. It is important to point out that Aristotle's understanding of ethics didn't involve doing what is morally right as it generally does today. To him, it meant carrying out actions that are necessary for a good or happy life which he saw as a life full of friends, wealth, and honor. Aristotle recognized that achieving this abundant life doesn't just happen. It involves applying hard work and reason. Aristotle therefore saw happiness as a skill that could be developed rather than an emotion. To help with this process, and since humans are prone to extremes, Aristotle introduced the idea of the golden mean that is, finding a rational balance between two extremes. This, in turn, would lead to a life filled with more happiness, or eudaimonia. So, how can we explain Aristotle's concept of the golden mean? Let's imagine a high school. There are the popular kids. They have a lot of friends but crave constant attention. Popularity is important to them. It feeds their egos and inflates their sense of self. They believe that the more friends, the better their success. Then, in stark contrast, there are the outcasts. These students have few friends. They tend to isolate themselves behind their shyness and introversion. They often feel misunderstood, and they therefore avoid the other students. These two groups of students represent two extreme human responses to forming friendships. The popular kids are swayed by popularity and treat their friends as currency, never really truly connecting with the people around them. On the other hand, the outcasts are so skeptical of the popular kids and have such a narrow friendship profile that they leave themselves with very little choice. But there are also plenty of students somewhere between these two extremes. They don't have as many friends as the popular kids, but aren't isolated either. Their group of friends have been chosen using rational judgment rather than relying on irrational feelings such as an obsession with popularity, an inflated ego, or contempt for peers. These golden mean students have achieved a kind of high school eudaimonia. There's so much more to Aristotle's Nicomachean ethics. Eudaimonia is just the start. You can find a more detailed examination of Aristotle's work in the Macat Analysis.